But I'll I could chalk up a few uh, few battle victories around here. Or maybe I should focus. No, I should focus on the Chinese first and foremost. As long as my capital is safe, then it's all relatively okay. So Chinese. Uh, oh, don't let them sneak you by there. Chinese rebels die just as easy as the rest of the Chinese do. Let's solidify that matter by stomping over a few more of them. Even if it is in the jungle, it's okay. Stomp, stomp, squish, squish. Or is he even planning to run from there? It doesn't matter all that much. Let's enjoy a bit of no attrition on the coastline. Uh, won't be much of Beijing at this rate. Just wow, they don't last long there at all. Give it a little bit, and I'll be uh, pieced out with Ming entirely, and then it's time to focus on our other friends. Just as well, because that money of mine isn't lasting forever here. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I am losing so much Manola here. That's a lot of money to be losing, truth be told. I guess I spend a lot on forts that I'd rather not, but I just spend a lot of money in general, without a lot of income. Because I have not made a particularly good uh, country for making loads of money through the uh, less nefarious methods. Right, it would be nice not to lose that siege, so Holbins get over there. Get back up if necessary. Oh well, down it goes. I think this would all be over if I secured one more good victory against the Chinese, rather than having them win a nice victory on us. 17th, 27th, that, that could actually flip things badly since Baglan has a tiny little subject of mine. Either that or I get less, uh, less antsy on the money, but no, I came here to win. Not, not win. There we go. Dang going in for uh, what could be the the war deciding kill for me. Assuming they actually get the kill. Come on, you can't lose to the Chinese here. Oh, good job. Good job! Oh, but there's more money to be made. Take all the money, take the war reps, break up with my ally. Cheers! Now I have another important war to care about. Also, what is uh, what is inflation? All right, Bank of Ming, pleasure doing business. I can survive with this deficit for another 200 months. I'll get you guys back to somewhere with supply limit. I'll get you guys back to somewhere else. I don't even know. And then I have some uh, I have some battles to win, or else this war won't go terrifically. Thankfully, uh, they already think they're losing. Did I come here for money, or did I come here for lots of money? I mean, I could take more money. I'm going to need it for taking on Russia, who are winning, make question mark, against the Commonwealth. Should we be worried that you're used to calculating deficits? Is you for doing that badly, says Nick's quality. Not on your life. Right, how's this going to work? I won't worry about the sieges, heavens no. I just worry about killing and keeping on moving. And it's not even worrying, I just do it. I don't like this though. I don't like the fact that Vijay's just giving them these victories on a platter. I fight these wars to win these battles. That's what I love about horde gameplay. Well, I mean, it's one of the many things I love about horde gameplay. It should be amply clear that I love playing horde. Damn, they took a hill fort, that is... I guess the major problem is that I left hill forts to be taken. Oh, they fancy the chances with that. Should have let them get into that grasslands, but I didn't, eh? Hmm, 
There's an element of chasing defeat here, because my elephants do not perform amazingly under these hilly circumstances. However, we wipe them out fast. So, oh, nice! Best use of that bug ever. You arrive uh, the day after a fight sometimes, and you instantly lose. And then the Oirats come along, and they taste true pain. Thanks for that war score. Thanks for that wipe. Just generally, thanks. I'm not actually sure what I'm coming into this war for, because I want to get moving on Russia. Ah, oh, they're already pieced out there. Oh, but the Danes wouldn't join in! Is this the ultimate moment of moments to declare war on Russia and say hell to everything else? I think the answer is, it's the only thing to do. Tribal conquest, show superiority on Russia while we're at it. Have you read any interesting Horde-related suggestions lately? Yeah, play as them. So maybe some people were going, man, Jake, you're taking too long with this uh, campaign. Where's the action? Where's the old Jake? Old Jake would have uh, taken on everyone by now. So that's what we're taking to heart, and that's what's happening now. Let there be war and more war. Yeah, just take them all on. This would be more impressive if I still had Ming in the picture. Minimum of two wars at any one time. That would be a horrible thing to have on the wheel of misfortune. A horribly awesome thing to have. I don't want to waste my time with this siege, but I was so close with it, given that they... Ugh. Given that... Uh... Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I don't want to unrest right now. Given that I got a lot of freebie uh, stuff on it. And just kicked them out of it all. Oh, however, I don't like that. Really? That's my only way through? I guess they blocked that with a fort. I don't think Mal was just going to let anyone stroll on through. So be it. he doesn't want peace. I need to carve up a few more armies there and get my victory some battle. Though I am getting ticking war score from showing superiority. Always a plus. Just gotta hold out there, Doab. One tick and we're good. One tick and we're good. Uh, we're still good. I'll take it back in one shot. Well, two shots, but that's okay. Better than okay, we're not half bad. Let's get you guys back along here. Bear in mind I do have a big Russian friend who wants to give me a nice hug. So I better be ready to deal with that. Damn, that's still with Adam White Law's 5 Siege. I might take it with a natural roll. Okay, yeah, that fort is blocking too much. I need to go and crush all these armies. This would be more impressive if you had the skill to back it up, says Noisk, probably trying to intimidate me. Fortunately, I know no intimidation, for I know nothing. I'm gonna get uh, White Law over on that. Damn, White Law really brought the pain. I like that. I like people that bring the fight. Uh, I don't like people that lose battles to Gujarat, but maybe, just maybe, uh, Vijayanagar won't continue to disappoint me. Hell, they won that battle, which is good, but Vigi are so far behind in tech. You need 15 to play with the big boys around here. And we are playing with the big boy. Oh, don't cost me this dang, you're not meant to go on offensive operations! Well, I'll be diddled, you actually won that one. And I got Sirhind in a single tick. So, if I skedaddle up there with the fastest man alive, all wins. I might, just might, be able to save the day in Kashmir. And I like Kashmir, because it has the word cash in it. Oh, you got to hold out better than that, dang. A lot better than that. Hold. Hold. Ah, they held. Whew. 
Nice. And that's good because now Timmy do not want to play with me. It's a shame because they made the tragic mistake of showing off all the money they had. And now I really want the money they have. So what I need to do to get that cash is start blitzing left, right, and center. We have the ultimate white loss stack. Please take Lahore. We've got a few backup stacks, but what do you even matter? I guess you could take care of these suckers. But you are the uh, you're on the offense here. If you see a Timmy stack, I need you to kill a Timmy stack. Uh, supply limit here is a bit arse though. Arse and chips. Alternative Hood, subbing for the 28th month in a row, is saying, I don't know why I'm doing this. I feel like you're in company that feels the same way. I can't speak for them, but I can show gratitude. I mean, surely I can show gratitude. God, I love horde play. You just gotta show your superiority in the battles, and then the war is yours. As it should be. Oh, Lahore down in another single tick. Whitelaw, you're capturing my heart here. I can't let this war go on for too long because I do have things I gotta do. That is to say, I need to kill Russia. And it's really got to be a, a slaughter of the Russians. I need this land enough to get comfortably over to the Commonwealth, as if wealth were common. You know, 100% war score on Russia looks pretty sweet. Realistically, this isn't going to happen, but what if it did? Commonwealth is its own bucket of problems, but we have to push on through, and I want the money to do, with, uh, to do it with. We kind of have the manpower. So why can't it happen? Do I have any way to get through here? I have a feeling there's nothing but pain if I take this route, but I still want to kill you. Yeah, it looks like Timmy Army has run away a wee bit. I could not take the war reps and get my piece. That's almost good enough, but Timmy war reps are worth a good deal of money. Are they worth 700 ducats, though? How much money does Timmy make? Well, it kind of is, but imagine having both. I don't need to do too much, I just have to rip him to shreds a little bit. And I bet if I had his capital, he would only be too happy to cough up the dough. Let's go, my glorious elephants. We have the superior horses. Oh, well, maybe I'll get that battle after all. It's in mountains, and we don't fare well in mountains, but as long as he doesn't have uh, more coming in, we should be good. Even in the most uncomfortable of situations, it's a minus 3 with a minus 25 on top. We still come out on top, and we watch Gizzy just run away. He is noping his way out of town there. Oh, he's also enjoying some uh, some rebels, so he's kind of close to wanting out of here, but I probably need to take his capital or win some nice big battles with a level 5 uh, siege specialist. Probably in a good place to get that, uh, that capital siege done. And I will also give them these extra cannons to make it go faster. Jake, how come the MAMs still exist? So at Kyunlu have been playing some real 12-dimensional chess here. They took land that the Ottomans want, but just allied the Ottomans anyway. They also allied the Mamluks for the longest of time, playing the two against each other, wedged himself between them, broke off with Mami and stayed true to the Ottomans, and just kept the status quo so well whilst he grew himself. Unfortunately, he's now bankrupt, facing inner conflicts. 
But fortunately, that means he's probably not going to take this land, which I really want. Guaranteed by Russia, but... Get real, Russia. You don't stand a chance against me. How many Russians are there? Aha! Huh. Hmm. Would have been advantage for me if, you know, you did that all-Russian uh, infantry thing. But it seems he's too smart for that right now. Am I going to get these battles against you or no? It looks like a no. And oh man, Vijay, don't go and kill his rebs. Also, I said they would be going there. Huh? Oh! Okay, no, never mind. I thought I didn't have enough cannons here. But uh, I have just enough cannons here. We're still going to tear it right down. He very much wants uh, peace with me. That's really unfortunate for him, because his capital is about to go, and then it's time to focus squarely on the big bear up north. Just in time for the Cossacks' triple assed song. One of my favorites. Also, war score is constantly ticking in my favor, making things even better for me. And I do like things that are even better. I also love it when I have, uh... Wow, idle, uh... Idle diplomats. Not something you see often. How about my friendship with Vijay remains pretty... Good terms. Ava's out of the coalition. They're never coming back either. Hello, I haven't seen Jake in a long time. How's the run going? Asks Jeldren Boy. I'm enjoying it, so it's going as well as one could hope. Alright, next monthly tick, they'll probably not want to keep the war going. Oh, well. Well. This battle's probably going to go in their favour, which is bad news for me. Because it's going to be a chunk of war score for them. However, I just got the capital. That won't be enough, because they're... Oh, no, it is enough. Ongoing battles is only a minus eight. That said, I could probably squeeze them a bit more, but there's nothing else I want to squeeze them for. I don't mind their uh, their allies, they're just people for me to kill. And whilst I would like their land, that's not the goal here. The goal is to crush the rush. So let's just take all that money. Unfortunately, a bunch of it goes to, uh, to Vigianagar, but that's kind of good. He needs to dig himself out of debt. Jake, you can still release big vassals out of Timmy, like Transoxania, or all the cores gone. Hey, Twix, I'm afraid... You've got a problem, and that problem is you always think about optimizing to play the best in the game. But the real best comes from having all the fun you want, and for me that fun is punching that money out of Tim Tim and directing it all towards very, very focused expansion into Europe. We picked this fight with Russia, and now it's time to slay the beast. Which means I'm probably going to need whew, about all of the units I have here, unfortunately. I don't really know where, uh... Wait, what, what, what the hell's trying to rise up here? Narbada! Didn't I just conquer that? I did, that's probably why it's so mad. Well, don't even care, just take your autonomy and get out of my hair. John Puri's also want to rise up in kind of what's it? I like this province, I like it a lot, but not to the point where I'm going to fight people there. Uh, Chardin, ah, they won't rise up. Let's not sweat those guys. No, let's take on the Rus. I have a clear idea of what I want. I probably won't be able to take it though. Age of Reformation gives me a nice uh, reduced war score cost. But I still have to crush these guys. It's good to know what you want. I don't want the song that's putting me out of my, uh, my vibe for crushing Russians. Okay, this is most agreeable. Burgers rise? Why is everybody rising up? Also, didn't I just... Well, I'm still gonna die. And then get ourselves back. Estitisat123 says, Hey, never played EU4, which is confusing. Almost everybody that comes here... Uh, does because they're into EU4. 
Decline of tribal influence. Oh, that's fine. The tribes do me no great good. Now, where are those filthy Russia? Hello, Russians. Did I call you filthy? No, you must have misheard me. Sadly, they have artillery fire, which is really good. Thankfully, I can pay way over the odds and take it myself. I can also finally get another uh, idea. I don't actually know which one I want. I could go something diplomatic, like I really want an extra diplomat because six just isn't enough. Influence might actually be pretty useful given where I'm going in uh, into Europe. But another military idea would probably also be good. I'm not sure. Humanist would be great, but it's humanist and that's disgusting. Truthfully, I'm not sure, so I'll sit in it and think for a while. Right, super not happy with what I see here. Look at all these big strong Russians coming my way. And I don't even have my super cannon yet. Uh, ooh. I'm, I'm not so full of beans when I don't have Vijay on my side. Still, we do have the steps themselves on our side. And we can make that... Whoa, Christ. Oh my dear days. He really doesn't like me being here. Let's take a step back and see if we can't outdo the Russians one-to-one. -one. He's really crap on ideas. He's really crap on ideas, actually, but his artillery would blow me away. I don't really have the numbers to take on the entire might of the Russian army right now, unless these guys get their keister up here on the double. Let's just say, say who cares to attrition and get over here. Jake, take religious for twice as many superiority CVs. Pass on that for now, thanks. Uh, okay, so I got you guys here. You're going to burn on attrition for a wee while, which isn't good. Now, look at the numbers. I can take on these. Oh, God, 6650. Russia got themselves some pretty awesome generals. That said, I too can have more awesome generals. And I know. I know a guy. His name is Bare Minimum. Don't I know a guy? He doesn't have the shock, though. And given what I do in the shock phase, Albans is probably a superior choice even now. Well, I mean, especially since I'm using Step Lancers. Ch Lancers. Uh, right. I don't like it, but I'm probably going to have to take this fight. Alamulli, Alamulli, he's all going to Alamulli. I don't have Force March to get me out of a sticky situation either. Mm, it's not ideal. What I will do... Ah, the supply limit stinks around here. And my reinforcements are ages away. But I need to win against him in a pitched battle here. Mm. Or I spread out to these provinces and strike him. But that could be very dangerous in its own right. I don't like going down here. I don't like going down to Atta Watsits at all. Should stick somewhat close so that everybody can converge on one point. Crassy is asking for uptime, even though we have a strict no bot policy around here. For now, at least. I do want bots, but I have to be able to do what I want first. not too bad, because Russia is the one that's burning on uh, attrition here, but I don't think he's caring all that much. Uh, if we look over at my enemy, Russia. His max man power is on par with mine. But what about... Oh, no, his man power is burned to shreds. Of course, he just fought that big war against Commonwealth. And he has no mercs yet. How long will that continue to be the case? I just need to strike him in a most inopportune moment for him. And since this is all desert or steps or the likes, and my reinforcements are on their way, Olwyn's bare minimum is faster. Get on it, please.
Oh, I could pick them off. Oh, and he doesn't have Uber General there. Right. The time is now. Get your asses over there. Well, they're hides, I suppose. Any opportunity to fight without the uh, the big cheese getting involved is a good one, but I think he's coming along to make himself involved. Yeah, he is. Hmm, where is he going north? He is, but I can't catch you right now. You're away on the third. <gasps> I'll be there on the second. is too good an opportunity to pass up. I hate to mess up all my mergers, but uh, the correct thing to do is to merge all of you together, march you in there, and give you the best we have. That is, of course, all wins. Other people got to get in as fast as they can. I will give you uh, Adam Whitelaw to speed you up. You already have bare minimum. All right, let's make it count. Kill these Russians. <laughs> and we finally lost our conquest, Casus Belli on Dang. So, Russians, they don't have nearly as many tactics or... Wait, why is there... Damn, they got no discipline, do they? Well, let's enjoy this battle, because I think I'm going to... Ah, crumbs, he decided to turn course. Still, we'll enjoy this for all it's worth. Yes! I'll take 30 to 1. It's my kind of numbers. So finally, they got some good reinforcements. Unfortunately for them, outside of the fire phase, which no longer comes first, barely comes at all, these are my battles to have. Get out of here. better. Right, I sent those suckers packing. Now. I feel like I should have small de-siege uh, mercs rather than sending all these guys to do it. I feel like I waste precious time by doing that. But on the other hand, I need to uh, beat Russia on the pitched battles. I'd rather not chase into his territory for that. Jeez, Max, we'd have thrown a dampener on things. Russians did escape. Dare I chase them down? No, if they're cut off from the rest of the uh, rest of the guys, that's kind of working for me. Unfor oh no, that's people dropping out of the coalition. Even better. I mean, some people are just destined to never leave. But we still got this. Yeah, even Kale is out of there. And I took Kale and raised it to the ground. I'm pretty sure we did throw some time at fixing the uh, Streltsy spam. Can't remember if that made it into Golden Century or not, though. Hell, the patch notes are out there, so if it's not on there, then it's going to be in the next release. Oh, no, and that sounds dangerously like a promise. Never hold me accountable to promises. So, nice victory over the Russians there, but it was only one. I want the full 40 war score from that. Then I will need to occupy like 50% of the worth of his country, so this. Fortunately, I know a guy. And he will blow, uh, blow through those forts like they're made of paper. In fact, I feel like I should be putting him to work straight away. Where is he? There you are. Unfortunately, you don't have white law. As soon as I can, I'm going to send you over to Astrakhan so I have all this open and ready to be uh, 
screwballed. 